Hi, in this tutorial we are going to fix or, or repair old images. So this will be our original image and it has some scratch. We are going to use paintbrush in order to mark our um, scratches in, in a white color. And then we are going to use OpenCV functions and we will fix the image and restore it to a better view and a better looking uh, image. So let's uh, start uh, coding. So this is our original image. You can see the scratch. And this is our image with the, uh, uh, using paintbrush, I mark the, the scratches with the white color. And now let's create a, a new Python file. Python file, I believe that you already have a, a Conda environment with the OpenCV and Python uh, pre-installed. So let's uh, import uh, OpenCV. And the first phase, of course, is uh, uh, loading our image. We will use a, a simple uh, CV2 function and we will load it and store it into a new variable we call it original image now let's uh, show our image This, in a, this is a common practice uh, code of OpenCV. I uh, have a syntax error. The, I can see that the, the backslash should be replaced with a regular slash. The image was not found. Okay, now it's okay. We can see our original image. Okay, let's continue to the second phase. The second phase is based of Taking our original image, I have already uh, loaded inside Paintbrush and emphasize or, or mark the damages, damaged area uh, in a white color. So I already uh, done it before. So let's just load our, uh, let's call it mark damage image and show it next to our original image. Okay, let's run it. So you can see one next to each other. One is the original one and the next one with the marked damage area. So let's continue to the next phase. We would like to load the same image in a grayscale since our uh, OpenCV functions works in the grayscale. So I just change one argument, add a zero, and now it's in grayscale format. The next phase is extracting our damage area. That means we would like to create a mask for only white color. So we will use uh, the, uh, the threshold uh, uh, function. So it's CV2 threshold. We will send our marked image and we will send a, a it will be between 254 and 255 that too means a pure white and let's run it again let's show our new fresh image basically we are expect expecting to see only the white marked areas let's run it Okay, so you can see that this is, is the, the white areas that uh, we have marked earlier using paintbrush. So basically these lines are very thin. We would like to emphasize it to, to make it thicker. So we can use another CV2 uh, function. So please follow uh, the next step. 
we first of all need to create a, a NumPy array like a rectangle based on uh, the number one so let's import NumPy and create this NumPy array we will call it kernel it will be one of the inputs to our next function this rectangle will be based on 7, 7x seven and 7y seven Now we will create this uh, mask mask variable. Basically, it's it's an image with uh, with the emphasized of the of the marked areas. We will use this function delete, and we will send it several uh, arguments. First of all, our image, our mask image. Then next, we are going to send our kernel. And another uh, parameter and uh, how many iterations so we will do only one iteration so it will run faster so let's uh, display the outcome okay let's run it so now you can see that the mask have th thicker lights Nice. So the, the last step will be restoring our images using this uh, uh, last mask. So let's create a new variable. It will be the, the restore image. We will display it later. And we will use a, a function called inpaint. It's it's a function that uh, basically do do some something like a merge between our mask and our original image. So we will send the relevant parameters to this function, and let's see the outcome. This uh, free argument is, is the radius of the painting. You can read about it uh, on the documentation. And you can play with this uh, number. I, in, in this specific uh, image, the number three is good enough. So let's add another I'm show. Let's show uh, the restored image after the in paint function. And let's uh, save our new image to, to the disk so we can uh, use it later. Let's call it uh, Restore Abraham uh, JPG. Okay, let's run it. So now let's put uh, any, our images one next to each other. So this is the original image and this is the restored image. Very nice. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can leave comments and ask for more projects. And of course you can subscribe and follow my channel for my next videos. Bye bye.